everyone uh, welcome back so today we are going to talk about azure functions so they are serverless solutions that allows you to write less code and maintain less infrastructure and save a lot of costs and let's go ahead and uh, start the lab which is uh, provided by the uh, microsoft docs so let's go ahead and start so you can go here and you can search for a functional app so which you can see here click here and let's go ahead and create one in this case, let's go ahead and create a new resource group. Let us say it as sample group, sample one, and let's click OK. And uh, let's give the functional name. Uh, let us say, uh, just to be unique uh, and code. And uh, here running stack, let's go ahead and uh, select .NET and the version 3.1 has mentioned and the uh, region let's go ahead and create the east us it's done and let's go ahead and create the review and create you can check the other options as well but right now uh we're not going through it tags and review and let's go ahead and create so these are the default options i'll just go ahead and check once again and uh, create let's wait for some time uh till it's get deployed so once it's deployed uh, we're gonna use a http trigger function and test it so let's wait for some time Refresh again. Let's go ahead for the functional app and let's see whether okay it has been created. Let's go to the function app that we have created. Here you can see we are inside this and in this. We have to select the functions so uh, this will be uh, generated uh, in few minutes we'll be seeing like once we come back uh, let's go ahead and create some functions so let's create and uh, you'll be selecting the default one that is developer in portal so there are other options as well but uh, right now we are going with the development portal and http trigger let's go ahead and click this and create this should take less time yeah so now go to the code and test So here you can get the URL of the uh, URL of this function. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's copy this one and uh, paste it. You can see we have got a response. So the URL is working. So you can uh, pass your uh, name in this. So we can do that by using uh, ampersand and uh, name equal to my name so you can see it has been changed so this is how you can uh, uh, test your code so what so we have done testing oh yeah so since we have uh, used this particular uh, URL there should be some logs which uh, will be created which will be generated in the monitor uh, screen. Let's here. There you go. You can see there are some logs which have been generated uh, successfully since uh, we have uh, the URL was successful. So we have got the 200, uh, the result code has 200, uh, which is the success. So, Hope you guys have known the concept of uh, the functional app, how to create it and how to test the code. 
so if you have liked the video please click the like button below and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you guys